is Unique Breeze. It's been one of those fan theories that's been talked about a whole lot ever since the season finale of Raising Canaan Season 3. It's also been one of those theories that's been talked about since the beginning of this series. Now, your boy Unique has escaped death. And if this theory is true, of course, we know it's going to have a major impact on this story. So I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. We're going to talk about that fan theory in this video. So I want you guys to stay tuned. When kings fall. I'm probably dead. Probably dead. Until that body shows up, he ain't dead. If he ain't dead. He's still talking. From working the corner for Breeze and Kanan, they brought us here. Why wouldn't you want to take out the boss? It's the same as you did to Breeze. Start with Breeze. I didn't want to kill Breeze. I love Breeze. I was your age when I killed him. I killed Breeze because he got in the way of my future. What Kanan didn't know, what Kanan couldn't tell you, that I gave Breeze one more chance. I asked him to change his mind. He didn't. So he forced my hand. If you take anything at all from all this when you kill make sure he's dead. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories comments everything down below now today we're gonna be talking about power book 3 raising canaan season 4 is unique breeze the fan theory now this is not my theory this is a theory that the fans have been talking about since day one of course after season three they're talking about it even more you know what i'm saying it's, it's been talked about crazy so y'all know i'm gonna talk about it give you my opinions on the fan theory and y'all can let me know down below if you believe that this fan theory is going to be true or if you believe it's going to be false. And when it comes to these fan theories, look, you're not going to get everything right. I don't get everything right. When it came to Unique, you know, being taken out, I was like 50-50. You know what I'm saying? After episode five, I was 50-50. Once Joey Badass came out and said he was gone twice, I was like, man, so he really is gone. But then after episode six, when they kept talking about he was gone and they did not show us a body, I knew something was up. So, I mean, you're not going to get everything right 100%, but it makes good topic of discussion, especially when you're talking about Breeze. And y'all know I don't make a whole lot of Breeze videos. I usually make one to two Breeze videos per year because I'm patiently waiting. You know what I'm saying? I feel like whenever he's going to pop up, he's going to pop up and I'm not, you know, crazy about when that's going to happen i do believe before the series ends he will pop up of course as i always told you guys breeze is the most anticipated character in the power universe and we haven't even seen him yet we only heard stories about him ghosts back in the day how things used to be and how ghosts of course took him out so now we're going to talk about breeze in this video the whole fan theory about unique we have to remember this back in season one this was a fan theory that a lot of the fans was talking about. Now, I never really believed it at all. Um, that's just me. I always believe whenever Breeze is going to pop up, we're going to know exactly who it is. It's not going to be name changing and all that stuff. That's what I was always thinking, right? Now, of course, once Ronnie's name got brought up, a lot of the fans started to say, oh, that's going to be Breeze. Now, I mentioned this in my Ronnie video that I did before season three even aired. Over a year ago, I talked about how once he comes, people are going to say he is Breeze. That's exactly what we saw on season three. A lot of the fans were saying, oh, Ronnie, he got to be Breeze. Him and Ghost are very similar. They OCD and all this stuff. I mean, to me, I was just looking at it like, okay, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not trying to knock nobody's theory, but I knew what no way in the hell Ronnie was no damn Breeze. And once Ronnie got dropped off, and then Unique popped back up, a lot of the fans started to go back to that original theory, talking about, oh, Unique, that's gotta be Breeze. It was in their plans all along. Now, we have to remember that Unique really was dead. He was supposed to die in season three. And it kind of goes to what I'm talking about because 
This guy was supposed to be up out of here. So if he was supposed to be up out of here, that means they had plans for somebody else to play Breeze, right? But that's just what I'm thinking. I mean, if you write, if you're writing the show out and you taking this character out the show, don't that mean you got somebody else in store for Breeze and not unique, right? But of course, the fans are saying that believes this theory. They're saying, well, unique is supposed to have a very big impact for season four. The creator of the show has already came out and stated that they had to change the ending of season three because unique was supposed to die and he's going to have a major impact not just on season three but of course season four we don't know what that impact is going to be some fans say the impact is him becoming breeze right now joey badass he's already came out in an interview with complex and he has stated that unique that the fans know is dead he's not the same in his head in his mind He's different, right? So, a lot of the fans are saying, yes, Unique is dead. Even before this article came out, the fans were saying, Unique is dead, and now Breeze is born. So, this is a part of the whole fan theory that's been going around. Of course, we talked about in my you know predictions video about Season 4, how they had you know, Down with the King plan in the season finale at the very end of the show where we saw Unique. Now, some of the fans are saying that the remix version, which is a cool breeze remix, some say that that is the clue that this guy unique is breeze. Now, what y'all think about that? Do you believe they put that in there purposely to give us the clue to say unique is breeze? Or did they just put it in there because that's the song that they like, that they felt like, you know, represented your boy unique? Now, I will say this when it comes to breeze, we know 50 Cent back. At the end of season one, we was going to season two. He pretty much said that Breeze may pop up in season two. He put out some hints, right? So a lot of the fans was thinking that Breeze was going to pop up in season two. Well, guess what? We didn't get Breeze at all. Now, right before season three aired out, actually a whole year ago, the creator of the show posted a picture of the airplane that said Breeze. So a lot of the fans was thinking like, okay, here we go. They're giving us a sign that Breeze is going to pop up in season three. Well, we have not seen Breeze 100% confirmation, at least right now we haven't, unless the fan theory is true that Unique is Breeze. Now, to be honest with you guys, as I told you guys over a year ago, I won't be surprised if we don't see Breeze at all. I'm not getting hyped up about no damn Breeze. And they could just be promoting the show, trying to get us hyped up. And that's it. Now, that's what I'm going to believe. Until they give us the answer, that's what I'm going to believe. I know the fan theory. It is a lot of different clues that makes it seem like it is unique. But I'm not rolling with that. I'm going to go with my original prediction. And that is, whoever Breeze is, we're going to know from the jump. They're not going to hide it. I don't believe Unique is going to change his name and all that. Yes, he mentally will be different, which we're going to talk about in another video or whatever. But as far as him being Breeze, I'm not believing it. I have to see it to believe it. Even with some of the things that we saw this season. I'm just saying. I mean, he was supposed to die. So they had different plans on somebody else being Breeze. Um, that's just what I am thinking. But I can be completely wrong. Like I tell you guys, I don't get it right all the time. And that big impact that the creator of the show is talking about could be this fan theory. Well, we're going to find out soon enough. As I told you guys, they're filming Raising Canaan season four right now i can't wait to see it i know a lot of the fans they keep talking about tommy and ghost look tommy and ghost ain't about to be in no damn season four some fans was talking about tommy and ghost was in season three like really i mean it's not gonna happen y'all the show is called raising canaan if we ever see tommy and ghost in my opinion i believe it will probably be in the last season and it will probably be like a tease or whatever um, for the ending of the show, but that's just my opinion. They can do whatever they want to do. But remember, as I told you guys, it's called Raising Canaan because if you show ghosts, if you show young ghosts and young Tommy, the fans ain't going to give a damn about no Canaan. They're going to be like, where ghost at? Where Tommy at? We trying to see their story when they was young. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that I believe they know and 
They're going to take their time with Raising Canaan, man. I don't know how many seasons they're going to give us, but as of right now, they're doing a solid job. I definitely cannot wait to see what's going to happen next. And, you know, what else they're going to have in store for us in season four? And also when it comes to Breeze, I always thought Breeze would just be a little bit older than Kanan. I believe Unique is way older than Kanan. I mean, not like way older, but I believe Unique was really supposed to be a part of Rock's storyline. We didn't really see Unique and Kanan in the same scenes at all the entire series. Now, next season, things are definitely going to change. We're going to see scenes with those guys together, and that's going to be a good thing. And do you guys remember the theories about Symphony being Breeze? Like, come on. I mean, people are going crazy with these fan theories. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. But as I told you guys, I'm not trying to knock anybody's theories, especially after what we saw in season three with your boy Unique popping back up. I mean, I guess anything can happen. Of course, the fans are already talking about, well, if Unique made it somehow, some way, if he made it, that means somehow, some way, Ghost is still out there. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, those fan theories will be talked about no matter what. Even if Unique didn't come back, people will still talk about Ghost making a return. We already talked about how the only way that's ever going to happen, whether it's Ghost coming back alive or as a ghost, we talked about how Amario Harbick already stated that he needs to be paid more. So that's up to stars on what they want to do with that one. But y'all leave y'all theories, predictions, leave it all down below on this whole Breeze thing. Do y'all believe this fan theory is true or... Do y'all believe once again, this is another Breeze theory that's not true and it proves that the Power fans, you know what I'm saying, are just really obsessed with Breeze. They're just seeing him because they brought him up in the OG Power and now we want to see exactly who he is. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, we may not even get him in season four based off all the stuff they've been giving us thus far, but I'm truly believing that that's not going to be a case. I mean, as the seasons continue to air out, I believe it's a higher chance that Breeze will pop up eventually. We just got to wait. And the wait may not be that much longer. Now, I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. Leave those theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. Leave some more fan theories down below that y'all believe is true. And I may just talk about them. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.